Looks fun, don't it? Lots of cake, trophies, and smiles. But if we're gonna be honest, we better tell you a bit more. My name is Don Calabresi. Don't get used to calling me coach unless it's accompanied by Don. The first time I met him, I thought he was a real asshole. Why's your mom down there talking to you before you wrestle? What is that about? You got problems? Oedipus? You don't even know what that means, do you? Oedipus, he's a Greek guy. He was in love with his mother. He was in love with his mommy. Mommy, hug me. This is the Black Sheep Wrestling Club. This is not a babysitting service. His coaching techniques were, let's just say, rough. Little guys, you understand me? You want to be here to get good? Fine. But you have to obey the same rules as fifth graders do. The same rules as you're going to have to do when you get to school. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. They didn't understand me. This is the first little kid team I've ever had. I'm used to coaching young men, kids that are old enough to be in the Marine Corps. 17 year olds, really. I never dealt with little boys before like this. And uh, I was just feeling my way through, faking it. In wrestling, you guys that never wrestled, you start standing, the man across from you, you start down on the bottom, the man on top of you, and you start like this, on top of the guy. You get your choice in the second period or the third period, depending on who wins the coin toss. First thing we're gonna do is learn how to get out on bottom. We're gonna do a stand up, and guess what part of that move is? Stand up, all right? That stand up, is our bread and butter on the bottom. What's bread and butter mean? HP, the first one. That's it. <laughs> All right, bread and butter means that thing, my go-to thing. If I got a good stand-up, I'm not afraid of anything. I'm not gonna let some boy hold me down. This is wrestling, the Marine Corps of sports. The task before us, teach the rules, techniques, and skills of the oldest sport known to man. The challenge, 90% never wrestled, or even saw a match. My first line of defense are my hands. Pop them down. My second line, catch them right here. Boom. Harish? Yes. All right. We do military push-ups, Marine Corps push-ups. Your head is up. Your butt is down. You touch your chest, you go up. You touch your chest, you go up. You touch your chest, you go up. I will say down. You will go down, push up, and say one. Down. One. Down. Two. Come on, try one more. Try one more. Get up those knees. Ready? Down. All right, get up. Good practice, guys. Welcome to the Black Sheep Wrestling Team. This is our first year. Welcome to Gladiator School. Everybody get in the stands. Face to the center. Everybody's facing the center. Get out. Back it out. Face the center. Get in the wrestling stance. Are you kidding me? Drop your ass. Protect your leg. Are you comfortable there? Are you comfortable there? Get yourself a little more comfortable. Are you comfortable there? You are. What are you doing on your hands? Get on the wall. No pina coladas while I'm teaching. Bring your hammock next time. Ready? Watch. Boom. <coughs> Boom. You turn. The reason for stepping in, pushing them over, that ain't a turn. The turkey is when you step in with that leg. We couldn't get somebody down here with more passion who doesn't even have their own kid on the 10 miles for I have known him since high school. I went to high school with him. I know him. 
he, he looks young, but he, he's 41 years old and has been, he, uh, for the entire high school years, that's all he did. When I tell you, I mean, he didn't go out, he didn't hang out with girls, I mean, I, I hang out with two or three guys and he wrestled. He wrestled in the summer, he went to camps, and he went all over the country, all over the world wrestling. That's all he did. And when he was done wrestling at high school, joined the Marine Corps. Lift that leg, though. Lift that leg because you're looking for a what? Yeah. All right. Welcome to Georgia Wrestling. In youth wrestling, for $35 and several hours of your time, you're presented with a coaching card. Most parents have these cards. These cards permit them to be on the mat in the corner of the child wrestling. These kids didn't need a cheering section in the corner. In the room, I'm an instructor and a conditioning coach. At the tournaments, I'm an experienced corner man recognizing dilemmas and coaching my wrestlers through them, giving on-the-spot strategies that will help them succeed. Competing with a parent for a wrestler's attention will impede my ability to help. It's early season, so now's the time to set some parameters. Disrespect to a referee won't be tolerated by the refs or me. These parent coaches need to be taught mad etiquette. They also need it to back off and allow me to coach. I asked John Matlack, our team administrator, to call a meeting with the parents and address some of these issues. All you can do is go to the table, tell them what you think, and basically beg him. You, yeah, you can't, there's no arguing with him. I mean, especially the guy, especially the guy that, that they had, Vaughn, uh, Vaughn Reed, who was the rep of that match, and you're not going you're not going to win an argument at all. You can plead your case, yeah. sound as convincing as you can, and he's going to make a decision. You get loud, he'll bounce you out of the tournament. Show him the video. It would be a much better sport. Keep the parents in the stands, let the coaches do their job, make sure the officials are certified to do their job. You'd have a much better sport. You guys are just starting. I don't even think we've had more than 12 practices yet. We've been in two tournaments. A lot of guys are getting medals. But this is a marathon. It's the, we got five months left in the season, almost. It's a long, long run. We don't want to win it right now, the states. We want to win the states five months from now. They're going to get better, too. I don't care how their coach teaches. Kids are wrestling. I don't care if they're doing it in their backyard. They're going to get better. You just got to get better faster. So if a guy's here and you're here, by the end of that race, boom, you beat him. All right? It's going to work. Believe in me, because I believe in you. Ready? And I meant it. I was starting to believe in these kids. As young as some of them were, they were learning. And learning pretty much at the same rate that older boys do. I mean, you have to tweak some stuff, and you know, there's a lot of crying and, and such, bending them into shape. But if I was willing to do the work, they would get better. They still had distractions, namely the parents. Hold on. Quiet down in the room. There's a hum in here. Parents. Parents. It means everybody. Listen! <coughs> everybody. I'll put everybody on the wall. Infants, old ladies, I don't care. Stop when I blow the whistle. I, uh, I don't really like youth wrestling, like real youth, young kids wrestling. You know, it's, it's like cockfighting to me, you know, putting, and it ends up being a parent hobby, but uh, if you can keep the parents in check, I don't see a problem with it. Spread your knees, bend your elbow. This arm goes like hard. Sorry, okay? That's the thing, keeping the parents in check. I think Don, uh, out of convenience, would have rather had the parents waiting in the other room. There was times when you could see it visibly aggravated Don to have to deal with parents during the wrestling practice. They didn't mean no harm, but as far as I was concerned, they were harming the learning process. Quiet in the room! Get on the wall for your parents. You do the time.
But I was wrestling, pounds didn't come. It's a new day. Sit. Don't worry, there'll be pain for you your whole life. First, first impressions, as I think everybody was about Don, is that uh, they didn't want to be around him necessarily. A little guy with a lot of energy and uh, was confrontational. I have run across loud Italian Yankees before, so he wasn't really that much of an impact on me compared to what he was to the Southerners who had you know, just taken up wrestling and slow moving, no big hurry. Don's intensity kind of set them back. As unorthodox and crazy as it seemed, it worked. I was gaining minor victories and control of my room. So that battle set aside, I could concentrate on more important things, like my boys wrestling. than you would expect, especially since we were working with kids as young as four years old. Uh, he wasn't mean to the kids or anything, he just expected a lot out of them. He was extremely disciplined in the room. He is constantly having the kids do more than they expect they can do. Those kids, if they make a mistake in the room, they get put on the wall. They sit on the wall in an unsupported position, build their leg strength up, and he's not doing it to be mean, he's doing it to get their legs strong and taking every t opportunity he can to not only get, get them on that wall to get their legs strong, but also to get them disciplined and to behave in a way in the room that they can learn more, practice more, and get more out of their workouts. You have to change what you're doing. If you keep doing something and it keeps not working for you, don't you learn a lesson from it? Stop getting headlocked. As soon as he touches you, boom, come on, or shoot. You had him beat the whole match. And you tie it up at the end. That's it. No reason. I was just silly. Just plain silly. Why? Because you're tired. Get on the wall. Uh, I'm a group out here. Let's go. I've got a match. Let's go. Uncle Crazy's back. I got a lot of time on my hands. A lot of time on my hands. I thought wrestling, I don't think so. But my husband thought that sounded good. He's never wrestled. We didn't know they had any kind of use wrestling or anything. And we just said, okay, and he went and started wrestling with them last year and loved it. And then this year, I think that Kamaya thought, gee, I want to do that because maybe kind of felt a little bit left out. So she wanted to wrestle this year. I think it was definitely more than she bargained for. But she's hanging in there. Yes, sir. Set your mouth, Captain. <laughs> the captains are, are very important to a room. They help control it by setting an example. You wrestle like a captain. They made you a captain for a reason, all right? You won your first tournament and you're starting to show the maturity of the wrestling. Example with their heart, with their sportsmanship, and with the work ethic. That trickle down effect in that room, it's invaluable. When you name a kid captain, a lot of times they blossom because, uh, you know, kids are different. Some kids re respond to, you, you know, putting your foot up their ass. Other kids re respond to positive strokes. And, you know, you can't just blanket it and just figure they're all the same because they're not. Johnny would appear to be an odd choice for a captain. Why are you different than everybody else? You can't help get on the wall. I mean, he came to me after punching a kid in the face in last year's state qualifying tournament. I don't think he won a tournament at that time. This year, he was on a tear, winning several tournaments before going down with a bad knee injury. Hey, there he is. Uh oh, skip the gimp. In my room, he developed discipline and a great work ethic. Ryan Sparin. He had a, had a real rough start. As a kid, tough mentally, and he stuck it out. And, of course, the results are evident. 
He's a, a physical specimen, especially for his weight class, and uh, he's in every match he's he's at. He's he's not out of a match. He's not walking out on the mat ever beat. He's somewhat physically handicapped. He's suffered a stroke at birth, and uh, his left arm and his left leg. Uh, they basically don't work like everyone else. Brian Spiron, he went like on a draft for like 40 matches, you know, and he's got like a physical thing about him that it causes him. But when he finally won, that confidence shot through the roof and he continued to win that year, had like 12 wins after having none and staying with a sport that I would have quit 35 matches before if I, 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 could, I wasn't as tough as that. Yeah. I could, if, I, if you do anything and you're no good at it, why yeah, would you stay with it? Yeah. And I imagine that the only reason he stayed with it is because, you know, his kid's got good character. I actually tried to discourage him from wrestling because of that. I didn't want to see him go out there and get beat up. And I mean, that was a mistake I made. He's actually, he's actually done pretty well. A lot of times it's going to be a rough road to go. Like I said, some of our more dedicated kids got their first gold medal this last weekend. Was it worth it? Yeah. And you had it rougher than many. Well, it was fun, wasn't it? Was that, uh, uh, nice ride home that day. <laughs> <laughs> nice ride home. And that's all I want for you. Know what it's like to, to be a champion. Because, I mean, that, for that day, in that spot, you're the best there is. And it's a nice feeling. You have to have confidence. Yeah. If you're going to go out there, oh, I stink, and, you know, you're just going to gonna get pinned. You can't quit before you go out there. you got to be confident. In truth, he wasn't cocky last year. The year before, he lost a lot. And I'm just going to give him space because, as it is, nobody's beat him this year. It's a short match. Let's go to work. Come on. Go ahead. Go. Lift it. Lift it. Rock him back. Look to catch that arm. There, catch that arm. There you go. Back hook that. There you go. There you go. You wrestle tough, son. Wrestle good. Like a machine, kid. That's Don doing it to me. Don, he's got that big ego. It rubs off. It's just in for the high school match. Let's go back. Stretch him out. Hey! This here is a pry bar. Come here. I put this thing in. Look at that. Just keep it tight to you. All right? If he gives you any grief and he's scrapping with you, get out front with him. Back up, Miles. You're in my circle. I'm here. My butt's low. I got this hand. Now he's either gonna, he's got two choices. That's it. He goes low or he goes high. He's gonna reach over my arm or under it. He reaches over. He reaches under. Hand control. And I step out. That's all there is to it. It's not that hard. He starts trying to trip me. I step my legs, drop my ass and face him. Just get scrappy, scrappy. I got a whole book of what ifs. Be tough. Be tough. Don't worry about what if. I can make it what if he came on the mat and stuck a dart in my butt. You know what? <laughs> Just fight. Want it. Go to work. Go to your front head, lock your spin behind. Yeah, you took it the wrong way anyway. You didn't have it locked up. Get out of here. You need more. Let's go. You gonna coach? All right, let's go to work. What? Get your head back. Are you cutting weight or something? No, sir. All right, I don't want you cutting weight, man. All right, your lips are all chapped. I think you're starting to pull weight, and I don't want you pulling weight. It's not necessary, all right? All right? Let's wrestle with some intensity. Okay. Yes, sir. Russians, Russians. Go ahead, snatch it up, snatch it up. Step, step. Snug it up, snug it up. Keep that arm, keep his far arm toward me. He's a tough kid. Hey, kid, you got a lot of heart. 
touches my neck, what do I do? Brushing. Touches my neck, what do I do? Brushing. He touches my bottle area, my arms, what do I do? Ooh. You don't have to do this perfect. Just do it with guts and heart. The other man is down. It appears to me that every time I watch this group, you're stalling, both of you. You're hanging out waiting for something to happen. Now, if you don't want to wrestle, go home now. Are you going to try this last period? Pretend this is the real thing! If you practice like a slug, guess what's going to happen in the match? What do you think, all of a sudden you're going to get inspired? It's scary out there. Don't let your workout partner beat you regularly. Don't accept that. You'll help each other by pushing each other. So little kids and big kids, that's what they call it. Little kids are technically like kindergarten all the way up to, say, fifth grade. Well, actually fourth grade, and then uh, big kids are considered fifth through eighth. And uh, it's a time. Three minute matches for the little ones and four minutes for the uh, older ones. High school matches six minutes. College matches seven minutes. My boys are trained to go longer. We got the opportunity to enter uh, the big kids in a dual meet tournament. Since our squad was bottom heavy, having more little kids than big kids, we wouldn't be as competitive team-wise as some of the other squads. Forfeits count. This type of tournament was an uh, experiment in Georgia, so they had 15 weight classes. Uh, I only had eight or nine kids to fill them. But the pros outweighed the cons. Some of the best teams in the state would be there, as well as some tough teams from uh, out of state. Being only weeks away from our state qualifier, it would be a good tune-up. Also, I want to expose the kids to dual meet action. Overtime. Protect your legs. Snap and spin. Snap and spin. Continuation, man. That's terrible. Man, you gotta let him wrestle, ref. Hey, over there. Go shake hands. Nice job, buddy. Way to hustle in the country. Excellent. Izzy, you come straight over to me when I tell you. From now on, now none of this getting your clothes stuff. What are we, fashion designers? Every time you gave up points, you were what? On your knees? Yes. You're gonna stay off your knees, right? Yes. Good match. You wrestle with a lot of heart. Don, for one thing, uh, he gets aggravated and frustrated with the little kids, but he's actually extremely good with them. The older boys are his, definitely his, his pride and joy. That's what he's there for. That's what he feels like he can do the best with, and he does. He does an excellent job with the older boys. That cost us. Keep your elbows down. No, he's in trouble. Hey, line up. That's it, gentlemen. Shake their hands. We won on forfeits. I think they out-wrestled us, guys. The crowd that day witnessed a very rare occurrence. Less than one in 100 youth wrestlers are girls. Far less than that are competitive at a high level. This is Taya Forrester. She's uh. Probably one of the best known girls at this time down in Georgia wrestling, which is a new phenomenon to me too. My brother started wrestling 
and then my dad wouldn't let me for the first two years my brother wrestled, and then I finally talked him into it. Florida brought in a highly skilled girl, and then they met. I think the women ought to be able to do anything that the boys do as far as that goes. Um, I think it's a little awkward with the boys wrestling the girls. In the neighborhood of about 200 programs or more that uh, at the collegiate level that have been lost because of Title IX, and I think you know, the girls should have all their opportunities to move on and, and participate in sports. But I don't think that a girl's opportunity sh should come at the expense of a, of a, at a uh, young man's opportunity. I think they should both have the equal opportunities. And Title IX has taken away opportunities from the men and given them to the women. And I, it, it should move on at both. I've seen the impact of Title IX. You know, there's maybe one or two teams in the Southeast um, where, where kids out of the high schools can go and compete now. Title IX and girls wrestling are really two separate issues. Girls wrestling never led to the loss of boys wrestling in college. you explain to me why you're doing this as opposed to a match or a tournament? You want to follow me to the bar? Sure. Send a good example for today's youth. Buttermaker. I'm Buttermaker, yeah. With my bad news bears. Because my kids are burnt out. And uh, this keeps them together, gets them to have fun. Nobody's going to be crying bowling unless they drop a ball on their foot. Let them take a, take a little break, because we got to come back hard, because we, we're uh, getting ready for our qualifier. Rejuvenate, heal, rest, come back hungry. Qualifiers are coming up. We need to check the kids' weight before and after practices. Don't want the kids to cut weight, but I want them to make the weight they are most effective at. We caught a beat out there at that... that 86.8. You're right where you want to be, no? Good job. What'd you weigh? <laughs> You're still sitting here. I have five children, and they range in ages from 17 to 8. And our um, two older ones that are 17 and 15, Michael and Pete, both wrestle for South Gwinnett High School. And Nolan, who is 8, wrestles with black sheep. He's five to four uh, burger. 22, 20, 20, all right, he's all right. And, so, and most of them, most yeah, of them that have been coming up here have eight already tonight. How was Logan gaining weight? <laughs> he had one rib today, that's it. Let me, hey, let me show you something though. <laughs> all right, used to, used to, used to, get over here. Hey, Dean Isberg, you better get your ass out here. Everybody know who they're with? Yes, sir. Stretch him out, Captain. My name is Bobby Buller, and I have five children. The oldest is a boy, Andrew, and he wrestles. The four younger ones are girls. So who, so who gave you this? Welcome to New Jersey. The room has the energy of anticipation. Hopes are high, even fear of failure. You got one more practice after today. Then some of you are begun. Why will you be gone? Because you didn't make it to states. All right, so, uh, I mean, this is it. If for some reason you don't make it, are you going to come the next day to work out with your partner? Yes. Are you? Yes. You're loyal like that? 
You got some loyalty in you? Good. All right. Bring it in. Every time I lay it in this foot, I can drop. I'm just working with the arms, the turning man. Right? Abish? Abish. No work. And we have three kids, a uh, six-year-old and two twins that are five. I started uh, wrestling when I was in eighth grade in high school and went through until I was a senior. Um, I really enjoyed it. I actually love, love wrestling. I, I'm surprised that I do, really. Um, the boys love it, and it's, it's just neat for them to have that one-on-one -on -one chance for them to go out and practice the sport that they've learned. Um, it's, you know, they, if they don't win, they can't blame it on the rest of the baseball team or the rest of the soccer team. It's how well they perform that day, and um, I think it's building a lot of character in them. It's a fun family outing. You know, we cheer for each other, and we, you know, pack a lunch, and we just spend the morning there, and um, I, we, I enjoy it. Down and out, down and out, down and out, down and out. Christy, get the mat See how he stepped up into his face with his stomach? Right? My head stays right in the middle of the back, right? No. No, it goes under. It dives under. My hips torque, right? Yep. I step, head drops down. Boom. And then I just stay here, right? Yeah. Wait, step up. Step up. Grab the chin. Punch. And then run my face up here. Just like he did. Christy. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Take this chin, torque it out, boom. Step right there. If you get in trouble, just post your hand. Keep that chin up. Abish, go to work. Don's a very, a very good coach. He, he wrestled in college. He's good. He's tough, and he, um, he makes sure your your kid going through his practice is going to be good. But do you have fun at practices and, and not be, not be that successful, or do you go to a, a tougher program and the kid wins all the time? But then again, he's going through pretty some pretty tough practices. So those are the. Uh, those are the dilemmas that you have to face as to how you want to do it. It's all about now, man. It's about winning now. You got me? All right. <laughs> Down. I go like this. What's your knee? Push your side. Okay. So stand over here. And when I turn around, I put my hand on his back, right? No. Yeah. Where's okay. my knee go? Up and go Boom. He's going to post up. Slam the head down quickly. Jump, and I run him straight over, right? Now walk. Okay. Walk toward the head, right? Because this is a what? Lever. A lever. That's it. Because Eric does it. Remember that? When Eric does it, go to work. You know how to move. goes in when the others have been. <laughs> the kids respond like a well oiled machine. At this late date, practice runs itself. Get off your knees, Sammy! Get up. Get up, Thomas. Nice pull, man. Get up, Thomas. Thomas, what do you need? Let's go! Somebody gotta want it! Somebody's gotta want it! Today's the day we worked all year for. D-Day. We stormed the beaches. Although I wish all of them could, all of them will not come through it. There's five qualifying tournaments running in Georgia today. The top three from each will advance to the state championship. 15 kids will advance per weight with one wild card coming from the qualifier with the most competitors. I had my still camera and I had my video camera and I'm trying to get everything ready. And the match lasted about five seconds because the kid comes out, he literally picks Miles up off the mat, slams him on the mat, pins him, you know, he's tapped out. And that was it, I never got a picture off. And I thought, oh my goodness. And I didn't think he, I thought maybe he might not want to wrestle again after that because that was a little bit harsh. <laughs> but he got up and he was like, okay, I want to do that. I want to do that to somebody else. Go ahead, Miles. Get that arm! Get that arm! Take down. Get out. Hand control, get out. Sit on your heels. Let's get our hips out. Go, go. Off your knees, snap him. That's it. Nice, nice transition. He's 
hurt a little bit right now. He's taking a breather though, he's tired. Are we tired? Are we tired? No. All right. If somebody who's a wrestler and really was a wrestler, they know that the intensity was too much for a little kid to deal with. He got his tooth knocked out. It was loose on No, me. get out of here, it was loose on me. It was. You know what? You got more upset over that than I did. I know. Well, Don't you find a problem with that? No, because I knew it was loose. So it didn't bother me. Like if it was a permanent one, then I would have been upset. <laughs> hips out, hips out. Get your hips out. Get your hips out. Carter Nelson, push the head down. Stay off your knees. Go, go. Way to wrestle. Get off your knees. Turk, turk. Pull the head down. Pull the head down. Come on, off your knees. Josh, turking and halfing. Let's go. He's going overtime. Keep him on his back. Keep him on. Half, 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 half. Run it. Run it! Run it! Run it! Run to the head! Run to the head! Way to go, kiddo! Are you waiting to the end of it to win it? Okay. Go ahead. No, Max is fixing it. He's fixing to go. He's fixing to go. He's broken, right? He's fixing. My brother's wrestling a girl. Keep going. Keep going. Uh, what are you going to do? You beat her. Okay. All right? Let's get a win out here. Let's beat her up. I know she's a girl, but you gotta beat her up. All right. You all right? He's not. He's you should have seen him this morning. Need a crash cart? I have a, a bad, um, uh, when my boys wrestle, I, 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 I don't. He gets into it. He's very it. intense. You were like You know what? All this stuff don't even matter. You're gonna forget it 20 minutes later. You're gonna be eating a candy bar, right? We're gonna get better. What we learn here is more important than how we do here. You hear me? Okay. Head up! Go, scrap, scrap! Climb the spine! Mr. Official, that score is wrong. Yes, sir. And I'm a wrestler. And I, 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 I wrestled till I was 31 years old. And it's grueling, you know? And I. I don't want somebody involved in a sport that can't make the decision to be involved in it by themselves. Oh, we did real good. We got uh, just about everybody went to the States from this morning. We had, I think, eight champions. We uh, pretty much owned this tournament. Kamaya made it. She won like two, three matches. We got a lot of kids. Max won two matches. We did well here. You know, even our kids that are struggling and new, they did well. Listen up. We worked real hard, and I know it really doesn't matter if you win or lose as long as you always do your best. It really doesn't. But don't lose, and you will feel better. You don't got to win to please me, win to please you. Just you guys coming out here and wrestling, doing this hard, tough sport for five and a half months, that's enough for me. You all proved you're good young men, and you're tough. Just go out there and don't give them shit. There's one thing you should say, I tried my hardest and I never quit. Not even for a little bit, not even for a two-point takedown. Don't give them nothing. Go after them. Be aggressive. Don't wait till 10 seconds left in a match and say, oh, now I'm going to try. Try the whole match. Believe me, you will not be tired compared to them. Make yourselves proud, because I'm proud already of you. Hey, you stay tough. Let's go. Bar, run! Put the bar in! Run! 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 No reach! Run! Run! Oh, there you go! Hip down! One thing that Don can teach that I haven't seen anybody else be able to teach is he turns, he turns kids into scrappers, whether they weren't when they walked in the door. Stay tough and stay off your knees. Keep me posted who's on where. I can't see them. Who? Cam, you stay focused, and still go to your back, no matter what. That's the only way this boy could beat you. I have got a Jefferson kid. Jump starting, pop your shoulder under. Pop it at the elbows. Head up. Bang it. Plant it. Go. Watch the roll. Watch the roll. Under the elbow, son. Pinch that arm and get under the elbow. Keep talking.
coming, Brady! I got two more and then I'm up right here. Go, it's there! Go! Go! Finish! That up, boy. Where'd it finish, Hey, is that 20 wins? Yeah. All right. Get out there. You wrestle tough, kid. Catch up. Inbound! <laughs> now I feel bad. I told the kid not to cut the five pounds. Now I feel bad. Come here, Bert. Turk, Turk at the knee, at the knee, step. Out of boy, now take him over. Half him, half him. I know you're disappointed. I know you're disappointed. All right, but you had a good year, and you just keep wrestling, and I promise you, you're gonna get better and better and better. Bar that up. Step behind him, all right? You had a good year, you're coming to our little party. Step, take his face. Way to wrestle, kid. Go, 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 go. Heads, heads. Atta boy, get out, get out. Face him. Now come on up. Come up. Hands that way. That's it. That's it, Johnny Scrap. Go step. There you go. There's his two. What's he got? One. All right, Johnny. Up into picket circle. Oh, he's walking right out. Short time, John. Go. Take it. Yeah. Take him to the back. Go. Go. Scrap, Johnny. Hey. You push it to the end of the match. Johnny. Come in. Johnny. He's going to be on his bike. Go. Scoot. Scoot. Scoot, Johnny. Scoot. Go, come out, Johnny, you got it. You got it, get the one. Get your takedown, pull your arm out. Get it, get it. He's got an illegal, what is that? Pop that off, pop that off, pop it off. Done, take him out. Good match, guys, good match. Good match, guys. Nice wrestling, son. Where's this kid going? Where is this kid going? Get over here. Don't you ever walk away just because you lost the match. Now get over there and stand there. Because you lost the match, you're not going to talk to me after your match? Stand there. I feel like I'm going to throw up. All right. So I was walking Come on. Away. At the stage, you'll wrestle another kid that came in second. That's how it works. Get that crap out of you. Stop eating shit all day long like I told you. All right? Shake it off. He's a tough kid. He's a, he's a good athlete. Don't you ever talk bad about my wrestlers. I ain't talking You bad. ain't nobody. What do you know about wrestling? Even critique him. He's a better wrestler than you ever were. And that's a fact right now. Oh, I agree to that. If he didn't wrestle a great match, he didn't wrestle a bad match. He just got out scrapped on the edge, and those little out scrappings, that's what meant. Who said I could dance? He goes, I could dance for a little more minute when he went like this. Exactly the strategy, him. man. And there's nothing Johnny wrong with do. it. There's nothing Johnny wrong. With him for the minute, too. It's a minute long. What do you know what he did? He tried to win. You trying to say he didn't try to win? No, he should have locked up. He's in eighth grade. Get over it. Atta boy. That's it. That's it. Is that it? Or you got yeah. one more? That's it. Uh, Bill. <sighs> Tiring. You got pretty tough. They all get better. You can't, you can't take any of them lightly. Go for broke. Stay tough. Don't Stay surrender. Tough, Don't you give up. Hey. The real tough kid. You seen him wrestle Huggy Bear, right? No. They lost six to five. 
was beating him 5 nothing the whole match. Four this afternoon, eight this morning? Yeah, no. Yeah, exactly. Out of 20, and we got 19 qualified out of uh, 26, and we got two on the bubble, so that'll be 21 if we get lucky on, uh, on a wild card bid. All right, listen up. This is important. We're all guys, right? Somebody grabbed your balls, right? During the match. Somebody grabbed your balls during the match. You tell the referee. You don't have to think about, oh, I can't say this word. You say, he grabbed my balls, Mr. Official, just like that. That gets the job done. He's a man. There's no women referees that I'm seeing. He's a man. He knows what you mean, and he knows what happens when that happens. So he's got, you have to tell him. You can't be ashamed and sit down there and suffer. You hear me? All right? Because when you told me, didn't we take care of it with the ref? Didn't the referee warn him? You know? And how did I say it? Just he like that. His balls. That's right. Okay. <laughs> That's what you've got to do. That's what you have to do. If you get injured, look at me and go like this. It doesn't mean whoopee. It means <laughs> I need injury time. Sometimes, even though you're hurt and you're like, well, I know this is going to go away. Yeah, it will. But for like about 30 seconds or maybe even a minute, you'll, your body will kind of be in shock from the pain. So you have to tell me so I can get you your injury time that you are entitled to. You have to clear your head. If you're out there crying because something hurt you, you can't wrestle. You made that kid cry. Did he win? No. When you started crying when the kid uh, <coughs> chicken winged you, did you win? No. Okay. It's hard to win when you're crying. I'm telling you that right now. If you do win, it's by accident. Okay, with the balls issue out of the way, let's get back to work. The best way to beat Josh Matlack was to pin him. You see, good guys have trouble getting off their backs. Brian Bailey, captain of my freestyle squad and a national finalist, did me the favor of putting Jack on his back repeatedly. Hey, and Mommy, look! Oh. He um, uh, tore the meniscus in his knee, so he was out for, I guess, a good four five weeks before he could wrestle again, so they kind of just, his first tournament was last week coming back, so. They actually call it Big Kid States down here. What, what do they normally call it in I don't in know. Jersey? I was not unaffiliated with any kind of youth programs in Jersey. I refereed youth. I used to stop the matches when they started screaming and crying. And nobody complained when I did. I really did. When they started crying, I don't want to go out there. I stopped the match. That match is over. Dads would get all mad. You know what I mean? They knew me up there. <laughs> Down here, they don't know me. And they don't like me. <laughs> Welcome to the big show. 12 tried, 9 made it. Brian Spurn received the wild card berth. We did good getting here, right? Don't you feel proud to be here? You should be. Making it to the state should be hard. And it was hard for us, right? It wasn't easy. I mean, you know, for some of you guys, it was a breeze. But for others, you had to work hard. And it doesn't matter, because you're all here. It's all, I could predict the, the score before any match starts. You know what it is? Nothing, nothing. So you're here. So if anybody beat you before, you're already tied with them. You're caught up. And all you got to do is wrestle four minutes to beat him, right? This is 2-2-1. Two, 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 it's 2-1-1. Two, one, one. It's never been 2-2-1. Two, two, I don't know where you've been all year. In his grandma's You're in the yeah. basement with your granny? Yeah. Drinking her medicine? <laughs> I'm already proud of you. Now make yourself proud of yourselves. Don't quit, no matter what happens, no matter how hard it gets out there. You're trained to be tough and take it, right? You're trained to be abused. We train like Marines. Good stairs. Go, 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 go. Hips, hips. Go, yeah, 
Stink him, son! Stink him! Go! That's it! Lift your head! Lift your elbow! Sink it deep, son! That's what I'm talking about, kiddo. Oh, this guy, oh, he hates you, me already. You need some money? I'm going to buy you some new clothes. You want to save me? I'm dressing special for you. Get it, get your hand. Get your own hand, Brian. Get your hand through again. Go, kick out. Kick through, Brian. Oh, what, he got caught up there? I didn't even see that. That was the best match you had with him so far. I don't know what happened over there. I didn't even see the pin, to be honest with you. I'm looking right at it, I didn't even see it. All right. Shake it off, all right? You might not be the wrestler, but that doesn't matter. You don't got to be the best. You just got to be the best for that four minutes. Boy, way to fight! Now go! Go for it! Slip it at the tricep! We got to bounce back, right? Look, that's behind us. We can't do nothing about the past. Go! You stay tough! Don't go! Stay tough. You got 40 seconds. Come on, son. Hang on. Get two legs. You can't do nothing. Go. That a boy. That a boy. Keep rest. All right, you stop. He's bleeding. As long as they have fun. Everybody keeps saying that. What are you talking about? How are you gonna have fun, man? Your jocks up your ass. You're all beat up. Your nose is bleeding. This kid's bleeding bad, and I want to stop it. You had fun? Yeah. How did I have fun? Yeah. How could that possibly be fun? The only thing that keeps him coming back is winning. So you try to get him some success along the way. All right, you're wrestling good. Keep the intensity up. This kid's a cradler. Do you see that? Don't get cradled. Head up. Work that. Russians, Russians, Russians. Go to crunch. Step, step. That's it. Head up. Way back, way back. Atta boy! I want you finishing fast. Atta boy, jam that head! Go! Go, go, go! Fast, fast! Come on, son! Don't you let up! Off your knees! Off your knees! Grab it! Two legs, yes! Yes, lift! Work up! Work up, go! You got him, do it again! Now, come on, bar it for real this time. That's a half ass bar. Ride that knee. Go, run. Go ahead. Go ahead. Drag out of that. Drag out of it. No, don't risk it. Drag out of it. Go. Step over. Some days we have those things happen, but you came through it, right? He's up on that spark shit, it's affecting you. All right? You settle down and you relax now. Brian, keep your head away from your knee. Keep your head away from your knee. Up quick on that whistle. Head up. Keep coming. coming. Face him. Take no head up. Underneath, Brian, underneath. Bob it, he's looking for a headlock. Go! Get go, get the ankle, go! 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 Lift that elbow, lock under it. Way to wrestle, kid. You're pretty vocal lately. <laughs> let's go out here, let's get this one. I mean, hell. You got a whole nother year to make it up, but why not do it this year? That's not good. You're not good there. Hips up. Square up your hips with him. I hear a lot of coaches say no good, no good. that you can't teach a kid heart. Bullshit. All kids lack heart one time or another. A good coach can help them find it when they need it the most. Is he? Is? Is he? Let him go. Get up. Get up. That's a tech. 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 No need to stay out there and work for nothing, is. Come on, son! Don't you quit, son! Oh, bridge of eye!
Get out! Go! Go! Way to fight, John! Get your arm out! Come on, son! I know you're disappointed. You're supposed to be. If you weren't, then you wouldn't be the wrestler you are. We few. We happy few. We band of brothers. For he today that sheds his blood with me shall be my brother. Be he ne'er so vile. This day shall gentle his condition. And gentlemen, now abed, shall think themselves accursed they were not here. And hold their manhoods cheap while any speaks that fought with us upon this day. Good season. He had a good season, man. All right, Bry. The rest of a good match. We just got... Good wrestling, son. Hey! You had a hell of a season, kid. Show me the heart, kid. Patty! You keep working. Oh, uh, you're gonna take top. Jump it! In deep, Patty, in deep! Jump it! Go! Go! You got this. All the time? Hey! Drags, drags, drags! Drags, take that elbow! Take that elbow! Go! Go, 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 go. don't stop! Get off your knees! Get off your knees! Get off your knees! Get off your knees! No, no, no! No, hips up! Don't give it up! Uh. Hey. Hey, you're all right. Hey. Izzy. Nice wrestling, son. Izzy, come here. I know you're disappointed. You're supposed to be disappointed after losing. But you know what? You wrestled a hell of a match and you wrestled a good kid. Your throat's okay. You know, you get a drink of water. I'm proud of you. You wrestled a good kid. Into overtime, all right? You got another year, too, in this age group, okay? Shake my hand. Shake my hand. You had a hell of a season. Come on, Sean! Dump it out! Shawty, stand up! Not a boy! Not a boy! Keep working! Keep working! Shawty, go, chop, go. Come here, injury. He's tired. Can you get the legs in? Can you get the legs in? Because that, that might be the best way to go about this. Bump that, come over like crossface, slip that leg in, and go right to that. Come up, do not sag your hips. Come up, so your power half, snatch his elbow up. And stay there. We want overtime. Go! Get up now! Get up! Get up! Hips up! Go! Elevate it! Elevate it! Hands! Hands! He's locking. Face him! Nice match, guys. Nice match. Showed a lot of heart, son. It's a tough one, I know. Go decompress. You had a hell of a year, kid. A hell of a run. Stop playing with babies, talking to girls. Let's get ready to go to war. Of the nine wrestlers, three make the finals. All those who lost went down swinging. All of them won matches here at the States. I'm proud of each and every one of them. When I took over Team Georgia Wrestling, there was, I think there was 1,800 USA card holders in Georgia. 
um, we grew to almost 5,000. And uh, we grew by getting out of the metro area and going to all over the state. These kids are on the same team wrestling each other? That sucks. Well, I don't know, aren't they? Yeah, uh, maybe not. Is this you? Let's go, Patty. Get him moving, man. It's up to you. You worked hard all year and you're in good shape. Let's go. Oh, yeah. He looks college to me. He's coming low. Go, Patty, go. Go. Go, Ebbs. Take the elbow. The elbow. The elbow, Patty. Go. All right, square up, Patty. You lost it. Square up. He's. Go ahead. Go ahead, Pat. That's it. Pop and go. Go. Grab it, grab it. There you go, yeah. Knee up the butt. Go ahead, work him. Two legs, two legs. Trip, trip. Face him. No headlocks, Pat. Patty. Bro stands, he touches you, you're rushing. You hear me? You better rush it in. Low heads, low heads, drop your butt. That's it, Patty. Let's go, kid. Heads out. Go ahead, freestyle. Hips out! Hips out! Stay tough, cross this. Watch his knee! Watch that knee, Ray. Watch his knee! His knee! His knee! Power F! Power F! Crank it! Pull the elbow deep! Take his face! Let's go! Watch your back! He's working legs, he's a heavyweight. Woo. Head up, face him, face him. Wrestle, wrestle, sprawl hard. Sprawl. Stop relaxing. Not gonna let the kid choose. Turn him over, run it, run it, run it, run it. Turn. Run it. Deep. You tear this kid up. You worked hard all year. You didn't do it for nothing. Win this match. Take it to him. Elbows in. He's going to try to get cute. Right? He's going to be looking for headlocks and shit because he knows he can't beat you if it goes the distance. So you be ready for it. Work it. Elbows in. Angles, remove the shields. Go. Out, out, out. Take that elbow up. Take it up. That's it. Work, work. Go for that. Go. Got a boy. Stick him there. Go ahead. Stick him there. Settle down. You're out of bounds, son. Intensity. Step, step. Hips, hips. Run it, run it. There you go. Run it, run it. Take him there, Jack. Hips, hips. Get up. Go, punch. Punch through. Out of boy. Punch. Out of boy. Out of boy. Don't stop wrestling. Head up. Don't you stop, Jack. Stand up. Stand up! Stand! Get it! Get out of there! Stick him! Take the chin! Stretch him out! There you go! Boot in! when you're in a pinning combination. He's strong. You see that? We got to go from here, all right? No let up. 
Hey! Is that right? You got some work to do. Hey! Hey! Go after it! Go after it! That looks off. There ain't no six point lead. What do you got? 15 14. 15 14. 15 14. Let's work. All right? We can do this. You're down by one. Push it. Go. Go. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Go. Go. Turn him. Go. 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 Get up. Get behind. That a boy. Work. Work. That's it. That's it. Hips up. Don't you stop wrestling. Don't you stop. No. No. Stretch him out. Stretch him out. Power half. Power half. Scoot, scoot, scoot. Hips up, no points. Hey, up. You want this? It's yours if you want it. It's a close match, it's yours, go after it. Hey, Jack, work that, bump him. You gotta want it, go, go, bar it, run, jump, jump, jump and run, jump and run. Go, jump over, wrong side. Jack, suck it up, you can do this. Suck it up, chin him. Head up. Go. Go. Yeah. Way to go, boy. Way to go. You wrestled a hell of a match, kid. You got nothing to be ashamed of. Me, I just get a move and I just ride it, and y'all, y'all have to keep on going. My right, kids smash the finals. God, that was much fun. Th that was what, instant. Man. Yeah, that was a scary mo match. We're all seen over. We're about to cry. I had my doubts <laughs> about that one. I actually thought that like was going to lose. That that was one to watch. I hope you yeah. liked that one. <laughs> <laughs> were, you, were you surprised at the score? How it racked up that that quickly? I was actually surprised that I was winning by one. That that kid, that same exact kid, was the first match I ever wrestled three years ago. And he pinned me in 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> he was the toughest match this year for me and him, I think. He got, he got strong as crap. He's strong on your back. now. I came up against a kid that would go on to win the States the first yeah, round. And uh, I, I kind of had my doubts about that one. But. I got pinned that one. You lose all that. Bounce back the second one, and uh, the second one was real nice. Third one I lost on uh, kill a one nothing <laughs> loss. Locked hands in the third period. That sucked. Oh man, your mom was screaming. I was that. surprised your mom didn't run in there. Yeah, the ball. Ball. <laughs> it made you disqualified. Were the guys stronger than you expected? Yeah, these guns, or? man. Are you kidding me? He's trying to get us. People stronger. Flex the force. <laughs> 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 Most of them were uh, less strong than me, but um, everybody's quicker than me. Describe the first time I met him, I thought he was a real asshole. <laughs> Don? The first time I, I met him, it was at a party practice. I it was some guy and me and my friend from party were, were sitting there doing our moves. And I mean, you know, he, I've never talked to him before, never seen him before. And finally, what are you doing? What do you think you're doing? Eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> last time he saw me, he goes, Cameron, get, you, get your fat ass I on the wall. The first time I go, damn, why didn't he do That's anything? That sounds exactly like Don. Yeah, first words I ever heard out of his mouth were, you gotta get the hell off your back. No, he said I, that in front of all the parents. 
That's what I thought. <laughs> I'm, talking about song. I'm like, oh, all right, man. where's the switchblade? Where's the switchblade? <laughs> I keep hearing you out there. I knew once you got in here, you would not shut. <laughs> We're talking about you, Don. I oh, are. Yeah. We're talking about how good of a coach you are. We're talking about your shit. They're so, what? Talking right. a bunch of shit is what they're doing. Oh, whatever. <laughs> hey, you can talk some shit. Get off my Kool-Aid. If you don't like me, get in line. <laughs> Bye. The record for me was five times. Smack me in the face five times before one match. He's like, all right, get ready. I'm like, the match isn't yet. Oh, okay. Well, when he told you this weekend, what are you, what are you, taking a nap? Wait up. <laughs> yeah, he, 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 what? Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. <laughs> no, I hate that. Like, yeah, you know, he like this. Like, he's, whenever he does it, you hear this. He's like, right, that wasn't a good one. There you go. <laughs> well, I do it to you twice just so we can get that new voice. They can take us to a strip club for our party. Hooters, no. Hooters, go. With, no, no, not me. No. Man, we're stay chance. The little kids wouldn't yeah. even know what it means. My big boys did me proud by showing their support and loyalty to their baby brothers. They came back to the room when their task was done. So the little ones didn't feel abandoned for this entire week of practice. Why don't you read it to me? This is a, a printout of uh, the Georgia Varsity Sports event. You know, that thing that I told you about that they talk about. And people just get up there and talk trash generally, but it's mainly an information board. But they wrote a poem about us. The guy's name Sheep Dip. I guess he's uh, messing with uh, our team's name. All right. You ready? Mm-hmm. It was the night before state and all through the house. Not a creature was stirring except for an occasional mouse. In my wife beat her shirt and my black joysy cap, I was jamming to Springsteen. Yankees love this crap. From under the trailer, there arose such a clatter. I spilled my PBR, seeing what was the matter. I ran to the window and peered through the bars. The little sheep had taken some spark. Now they were barking and chasing cars. They was drooling and snarling and turning quite red. Took nearly two hours to catch them for bed. Tomorrow will be the greatest of days. We'll show those spark junkies the error of their ways. We'll pile in a pinto and all head for Dublin and give these Georgia Hicks a joysy style drubbing. To say hey on Saturday, I'll be glad to meet you. Pardon the smell, breakfast is anchovy pizza. But don't bother to speak if I look kind of ticked. Remember, we're driving three hours to get our butt kicked. And then he wrote, peace out, Donnie. But well, we ain't gonna get our butt kicked. What's going on here, guys out there? <laughs> You're a bum, Rocky. Chase the chicken, Rocky. Twelve kids made it to the little kid states in Dublin. One of them got hurt. That leaves me with 11. McCorkle got the wild card. Now they're calling me Jersey Clown Wrestling. Ah, guys that uh, guys on the van, guys I know from a uh, seating meeting when it all happened. At the seating meeting, I was handed a program for the States, with my team being called JCW, Junior Comet Wrestling. That was the charter for South Gwinnett High School, our practice facility. They were saying we couldn't be the black sheep. I knew this would affect my kids, and I went off. Anyway, won the argument, because we're the black sheep still, but JCW became an acronym for Jersey Clown Wrestling. I love it. I love it too. I love it. That, it means I'm doing something. That's right. It really right. does. <laughs> it really does. Because if they're breaking your balls, you're, you're doing all right. Now, most important thing is everybody ready to wrestle today? Yeah! Everybody ready to wrestle today? Yeah! Everybody settle down. Stay where you are. First off, I'm gonna ask the Pee Wee Wrestler, Pee Wee Wrestler, stand up. Just the Pee Wee guy. <laughs> Pee Wee Wrestlers only! Pee Wee Wrestler, are you guys? Come this way. Pee Wee.
<laughs> One of these kids got to buy, too. One of the little bullets got to yeah, buy, Thomas didn't they? Thomas got to buy. Thomas. No, we're not. Sam. No, it wasn't Sam. It was no, either Tommy, Tommy or Danny. That's it. That's it. Keep going. Keep off his knees. Step. There you go. Yes. Hey. Half and turn. I know. So she's had, been wrestling like that all year. Yeah, but I mean, she just got the braids, but... I ain't worried about the braids. I'm just talking about her hair getting pulled put it up. I can't do nothing about it. I don't got... I'm not a beautician. Clemens from the teacher house. Go! Off your knees! Off your knees! Now go! Take them the other way! Let go! Head control! Once again, everyone in the middle, we ask you to please... Take the Slip it! Heads! Heads! She's doing well. Come on! Slip it, slip it, slip it. Go, go. All right, don't go to your back. Watch your back. Three, two, one. Move in front of the speakers at this time. Please move around. We need to find the people. Who wrestled good? Who wrestled the winner? Guy who won the tournament. Um, <laughs> referees are saying stuff about her hair getting in the way of her wrestling. Okay. I think a makeover the day before the States is uh, frowned upon. We're not going to quit. That's all that matters. We never quit. Mat number six in the cafeteria. Your matches will be called out in the cafeteria. And pull that arm! Grab that arm! It's up! Stand up! Up to your feet! Up to your feet! Go! Keep going! Keep going! Hips over, hip over. There you go. Keep backing it up. Now under the elbow. Hey, back up. Let's get one in the middle of this way. Squat now, down so now turn your hips. There. Now lift. Please. Pull that arm around your waist. Keep it. Keep wrestling. Keep wrestling. Justin, Turk. Go. Lift it. Step. Out of boy. Head up. Head up. Reverse it. Reverse that half. That's it. Okay. There you go. There you go. 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 Pull that arm in. Keep going. Hips up. Keep coming. He's got an illegal headlock. Go. There you go. You can do a Smith single. Absolutely, but finish it right. Finish it quickly. What you do is when you take that, roll up into him, it'll flatten him out, it'll give it to you quicker. And this way his knee won't get hurt. We don't need to hurt him, we just want to beat him. Bad. When they get hurt, they make mistakes. Yeah, I know. Finish, finish, finish! Helicopter! Helicopter! Climb the spine. Climb it. Get up. Keep it. Get them back points, son. Keep that arm. Keep that arm. Keep it. Lift it. Keep going. Keep going. He'll tie her out. That's it. It's a scrappy little kid, ain't he? You don't want to quit at all. Yeah, keep going. Keep I like going. this game. Hey, you didn't quit at all. You stuck tough. You didn't quit at all, kiddo. Good job. They're all tough in the first period. Remember that. Nobody's tired yet. Keep wrestling. Oh, watch it, watch it. Go, spin. Be smart. Be smart. Turn, turn. Get off your knees. Run it, run it, run it. There it is. Boy. You win, if you win, 
Who want me to dye my hair white? Pop that head. Go, go. We just got to a point where we felt like he needed something different. And that's how we ended up at Black Sheep with Coach Don. And is it different? It's very, very, very different. Climb the spine! Don't you surrender that takedown. Don't you get that takedown. Hips up, hips up. There you go, keep wrestling. Get behind him. Oh, if you need chin him back, chin him back. Get off your knees, get off your knees, stand. Go, Miles. I've been waiting for this guy to pop. I've been waiting for him to pop? What do you mean? He's been going off? All right. Nah, the referee's guy, he got control of this match. He, he's a good ref. Control, punch. Hand control, punch. Run to the head! Run to the head! At the knee! Anything can happen, especially when they're this young. A bad day. They'll get distracted by a butterfly and get tackled or something. So long as you keep it, you know, the intensity level down, it'll be okay. And once we start, adults start projecting it, then we're gonna. And we're gonna steer them away from it instead of steering them toward it. And they're all doing well. They all improved a lot. You've done a real good job, Don. Thank you. I'm a real reluctant youth coach, too. I really am. But they came through it all right. You know, and I try to keep it in perspective for the parents. All this is gonna, you absolutely gotta come now. You don't have to tell me, I know I'm bad. I know it is. You're too emotionally involved. See, I gotta, I grow to love the kids, but I got that separation. He's pinned. How'd he do on his feet with this kid? Huh? How'd he do on his feet? Oh, uh, he did good. She probably would have done pretty good out here if she actually came to practice. Yeah, really. I think she would. She's really, she's really not getting muscle that much. I had her done by two, three months. Come on, come on. It's all right. Hey, you did great this year. You did great. I'm proud of you. You qualified for the state shield. Unlike other sports, wins and losses are very personal. A kid can be left devastated because of a loss. The high stakes involved. But in the end, the achievement is considerably more rewarding. Hey, buddy, you wrestle well. Hey, come here. Come here, man. <laughs> hey, we did good this year. We got down here, we earned our way down here, didn't we? And we keep getting better, don't we? I'm proud of you, kid. You learned a lot, and you know what? At the beginning of the year, there was no way you were gonna get down here, right? Right? Then you stink, but you don't know more, right? You're good enough to be at the States, okay? Oh, get low, get low, push his head down, push his head down, push his head down, quarter Nelson, wizard quarter Nelson, off your knees, push that head down, get behind, get behind. Tyler, drop your hips down, your butt, drop your butt down, go. Keep that wrist. Relax, man. It happens. They'll learn more from this than anything that ever would have happened. Hey, you rest 
a real top kid. You had a tough one, kid. You didn't wrestle your best, that's for sure, but you're gonna have to bounce back if you want a place. All right? Maybe he'll learn more from this than any other thing. And it's not a big thing, he's a little boy. And the kid wanted it, and he thought he won it before he started it. Remember Gene Mills and Tom Houston? Yeah. Well, they only won at, um, Houston won twice. He beat Daryl Burley, and Daryl Burley only won it once. Houston, Tom Houston beat, beat Daryl Burley. Where did Houston go? This is uh, in the uh, state. Yeah. No, nobody ever won four years in a row. But I thought Jersey, had, get... I thought Jersey had a couple classes. Hell no! Come on. They still only got one. Yes. We're not capitulating. We're not. We're trying to raise the level. <laughs> Oh, no, no, Sean, they got rid of Sean. You know how they got rid of Sean. Now, Sean was at Oklahoma City. Yeah, yeah, so you, you know how they got rid of him. Yeah. He missed weight. NCAA oh, yeah. Super Fun, missed weight. No how shit. do you not make the argument? I have no he idea. Missed weight. He missed weight. Returning national champion. He would have got it so that year. He would have got it the second. He would have got it that year, and he would have won it the next year. Sean would have been a three comer at least. He won I it. May, that Randall amazes me if an eighth grader does it, let alone a college guy. <laughs> Back to you, I went out there, what's his name? Uh, Monday, Kenny Monday was out there. Yeah, Kenny Monday won as a freshman. Kenny Monday won as juniors as a freshman. Did he really? He you wrestled this. Wrestle. I thought you can't wrestle juniors as a freshman. Well, now they got that, now they got uh, cadet things and they break it up into, back then it was like high school age, you wrestle high school age. You're in high school, you're allowed. It was fun though. Parents didn't come then. Really? I don't know. You got a bus, you got a bus, or you got a Winnebago, and you drove out with a bunch of people yeah. and a couple guys that were coaches. Yeah. You know? And you went out there and you had a blast. And you know, it wasn't all. <laughs> now it's you. And now I'm making money. I know I was impressed with them two New Jersey guys. Delegata and Gene Mills. Gene Mills. He missed the Olympics because of the Russians went into Afghanistan. Yeah. Well, how old were you when you were in the Olympics? 28. 28. And that was what, 89? 88. 88. He wrestled for my brother. That's how come I know him. Yeah. Oh, your brother was coaching him? Yeah. So, uh... What's your brother's name? Fletcher Carr. Joe... I can't remember Jimmy. these old names. Yeah, yeah, all right. In here? Yeah, he's up there. Come on! Under the elbow, there you go, stay there. Stay there. Push into him a little bit, there you go. Good job, buddy. I'll shake that hand. Hey. Pop that in, drag him. Get ready to sprawl, get ready to sprawl, sprawl. Don't stop, don't reach back. Hold it. Climb the spine! Climb the spine! Climb it! Get that arm! Half! 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 That a boy! Slip it! Slip it! Hands! Hands! Stand up, Sammy! Go! Spin! Go! Get that arm! Keep that leg! Drive in! Drive in! Get up with it, get up with it. Half, half, half. Sammy, Sammy, you gotta jump that half. Sammy, knee up the butt, chop. Push his head down, jump the half. Pee wee, shmee wee. Get 
me something somewhere. Let me know where you Get me something. Uh, there's, there should be some towels right here. Right here. There's some towels right under. Just take some towels, coach, and right on top. Just gotta bring it to me. Get hey. From there. Let's not get down on herself. That's why we lost the last match. We just have to go to work. Get our points one at a time, understand me? All right. Gonna work a little harder, kids. One at a time. One point at a time. Be tough. I'm not gonna put you on bottom because he knows that move. Timmy. You okay? Never stop. Bring it to me. Okay? Let's go, Bloods contain. Let's go. Cradle. Get him back. Go! Nice, turn. Head up, head up, head up. Head, 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 head. Turn, turn him. Half, get off your knees. Turn, turn. Head. Stick head, head, head. Take that face. Head, go. Sit him up, sit him up. Now, he's got more points, he got back points. He didn't get enough back points? Is that score correct? No backs? I kept tight this one. No backs on it? Take hands, guys. Good match. Over there? Yeah. Right there, I'll be on the side of that circle. You guys so tough, buddy. Stace, are you sure we didn't have packs over there? Uh, I'm absolutely positive. Yeah. That's why I dropped down where I was. It wasn't okay. even close. Hey. You had a hell of a year. It's not a great day, that's all. Well, you got a sense of humor, man. That's great. Hey, uh, he had a rough day. Right, my son, man. You're <laughs> sick. Tyler in fourth, and, and then we got three in the finals. I'm bad. They give the kids medals for fourth, right? Yeah. And they look the same as third, and they look okay, the same they as third. Don't care how they lose. They place fourth, they place fourth. You ain't gonna lie and say it came in third, no, I'm but saying, I'm, I'm glad that they placed. It's a big, pretty medal. Good. It's Good. Matt, too, you're on, huh? Yeah, Adam 45, Sean Russell. Go ahead. Go, go, go. go. Get up, get up. Face him, face him. Get to your feet. Get to your feet. Get up. Josh. Josh. <laughs> Sad! 
Sag, sag it. Buddy, your place in this stage. You keep it up. Good job, buddy. Down by four. Had a good year. He had a good year. Miles has done incredible things this year. I don't think he won a tournament last year. My husband told him, okay, I'll buy you a t-shirt. Every tournament you win, I'll buy you a t-shirt. We didn't think he was going to win that many. And here we are, we've had to buy a t-shirt almost every week. His big thing now is I want to be state champion. Is that Bullard? Jam his head, push his head. Go, Miles, go! Miles, let go of that, let go of that! Let go of that! Punch through, punch through! Go, kick! Pull him back, pull him back! Pull it, spin behind! Go, Miles, go! Hips, get up, get up! Get up! They'll do it, now! All right, let go, push through! Punch through, punch through! Face him, face him! Face him, Miles, get up! Get up! There you go, there you go. Go, Miles! Come on, buddy! Let go of the head! Let go of the head! Punch through! Punch through! Punch! 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 Watch out here! Punch through! There you go! Hey, way to fight! Don't go on your knees! Stay here! Go after him. Come on, Miles, you can do it. Go, go. Get that arm. Miles, go on after him. Wrestling. 
You got this, stay off your knees. Miles, 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 Miles. Turn. Make sure he give you your three. Make Turn. Sure. We got three here. Clint, we got three, right? Let him pound him, Don. Miles! Shop and knee! Miles! Shop and knee! There you go! Turn! 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 Get up! Back up! Go! Oh! And so keep going! Get that on, yes! That's a good You wrestled a great match, buddy. You wrestled a great match. Don't be sad. It's tough out there. Don't you be sad. You wrestled great. Yeah. Hey. Hey. You didn't give up, did you? Never quit. When things go wrong, as they sometimes will, when the road you're trudging seems all uphill, when the funds are low and the debts are high, and you want to smile but you have to sigh, when care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but don't you quit. Life is weird with its twists and turns, as every one of us sometimes learns. And many a failure turns about when he might have won had he stuck it out. Don't give up, though the pace seems slow. You may succeed with another blow. Success is failure turned inside out, the silver tint of the clouds of doubt. And you never can tell how close you are. It may be near when it seems so far. So stick to the fight when your heart is hit. It's when things seem worse that you must not quit. Your day will come, kid. Your day will come. His day did come. The very next year, he was the one to pull it upset. The following two years, he won state championships. was the night before state and all through the house. Not a creature was stirring except for an occasional mouse. In my wife beat her shirt and my black joysy cap, I was jamming to Springsteen. Yankees love this crap. From under the trailer, there arose such a clatter. I spilled my PBR. That's beer, by the way. Seeing what was the matter, I ran to the window and peered through the bars. The little sheep had taken some spark. Now they were barking and chasing cars. They was grueling and snarling and turning quite red. Took nearly two hours to catch him from bed. Tomorrow will be the greatest of days. We'll show those spark junkies the error of their ways. We'll pile in the pinto and all head to Dublin and give these Georgia Hicks a Jersey style drubbing. So say hey on Saturday, I'll be glad to meet you. Pardon the smell, breakfast is anchovy pizza. <laughs> but don't bother to speak if I look kind of tick. Remember, we're driving three hours to get our butts kicked. Ah. Uh, how you like us now? <laughs> I got an email 
from Mrs. Bullard. She's told me not to call her children out of their given name. This was early in the year. It was, uh, I mentioned, you know, on our website, Danny and Tommy were called them. But I always thought that a Danny and a Tommy could beat the crap out of a Daniel and a Thomas. <laughs> anyway, I got that. And I was sitting in the stands, and Danny was wrestling. And his dad was in the corner, and they were sitting, they were right in front of me. And I yelled, Danny, look right at me. Shoot the head. And he did. He put the kid on his back and won. And they didn't say nothing to me. <laughs>